Okay, we got the the one video uploading here. Now, let's take a look at the slides again. All right, here you go. We've got a magnetic force. Son of a gun. There we go. All right, so acting on a wire. Okay, well, look what we have. We've got current flowing through here. Hey, I've got charges flowing. I've got charges flowing. And if the magnetic and the per perpendicular portion of the magnetic field is going to create a force on these guys. Okay. And I've got I. Now look what I have here. This distance L is equal to V times T. Okay. The distance L that it goes is equal to the velocity times the time. All right. And the charge going through there. And then the current. What does current equal? Current equals Q over T. So therefore, the T's cancel, and I get the, the current is equal to ILB. Let me show you. Let me show you, show you, show you, real quick. Look, force acts on the wire, right? You know that the force, the magnetic force, does this, QV times B sine theta, right? All right, well, here's the deal. For a wire then the electric force is equal to Q ah, is equal to I L B sine theta where L is equal to VT and I is equal to Q over T so when I put this together looky 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 this is really cool Q over T times uh, VT times B sine theta times cancel. So this guy works. All right. Good. And the direction of the force is given by the right hand. When the fingers of the right hand are pointed in the direction of the conventional current. Oh, they like for you to point your fingers uh, in the direction of the conventional current. And then curl towards B. The extended thumb points in the direction of the force. All right. So they're so they're doing the right hand rule a little bit different here. They're doing they're doing it with the curling type thing. All right. Where I where the current is, you can do it the way we did it too. Okay. All right. I I never usually show this slide because it's too. Because it just complicates things. Now, but one of the things that we do use the current for, we, is to make motors, electric motors. All right. So here I have a north. And, I've got an electric field going this way. All right. So look what happens. If there's a current going through this wire, all right. If I create a current going through this wire, then a current gets feels a torque which is the force, I. Now this time it's the area times the sine of the magnetic field times sine theta, all right? Because what is, what is torque? Torque is equal to force times lever arm, all right? So if the lever arm, I L times the lever arm gives me the area. Did that make sense? I just said it. And I even understand this stuff. And that made no sense to me. Here's what I'm saying. Here's how they derive that. Okay. If this will show up. Please. All right. There we go. All right. So what's this torque? Torque equals ILB. What are you talking about? Torque equals IAB sine theta. How does that happen? Well, hold on. I know that force is equal to ILB sine theta. And then when I take the distance of the lever arm, so torque is equal to, remember, R cross F, right? So if I put a meter in here, meter crossed with I crossed with L, which is a meter, B sine theta, then I got an M squared which gives me an area. So that's why the torque is equal to IAB sine 
theta. And it also, if I put a bunch of coils, if I make a bunch of coils around there, like capital N equals six in this case, then the torque is six times stronger with six IAB sine theta. All right, so there's the idea behind torque, all right, and electric torque and how we get motors to work. And I'll bring in a demonstration on how that, on how that works, okay? And the magnetic moment is called NIA, is the number of turns times the current times the area. That's the magnetic moment. And then put that sucker in an electric field, or in a, sorry, in a magnetic field. Boom. So what's it look like? Well, here you go. A gallon has a coil in a magnetic field. When the current flows in the coil, the deflection is proportional to the current. So therefore, it gives us what a galvanometer tells us what the current is in a wire. But here's, here's how it looks. You've got this electric motor converts electric energy into mechanical energy using the torque on a current loop. Ah, concept, it's a conceptual question. All right, we'll stop here. I forgot to record any of this. I think. No, I didn't. Yay. Scary.